So we need to derive a formula called as the lens formula or a thin lens formula. Well, this formula is again very simple. But as far as the derivation is concerned, that derivation is really important as your board exam. If you see, they, they keep on asking the derivation of this formula again and again. I don't know why, but this derivation is really simple. Okay, so let us do this derivation and then we'll move further. So we need to have a relation between the object distance, image distance and the focal length. Just like how we got a relationship between focal length and object distance and image distance in case of mirror. And I hope you remember the relation, right? What was the relation in case of a mirror? It was 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u. This was the relation that we got in case of spherical mirrors. And we call this as mirror formula. In the same way, we are going to derive a relation for lenses and we call this as the lens formula. All right. But remember that we are deriving it only for thin lenses. Okay. Fine. So let's start. Now, let us say that you have an object which is placed over here and the height of the object is h. So we are going to first of all trace the ray diagram. So one ray will come parallel. A ray coming parallel to this is going to pass through the focus. And remember that when you're drawing it, all the deviations that you're showing, you must show it through this line. Okay, just draw a line bisecting this lens into two equal parts and all the deviation, you should show it over. Okay, because you might be thinking that, sir, there are two surfaces, so the refraction will happen two times. Yes, it will happen. But what we are talking about is thin lenses. Okay. Next is a ray of light which passes through this optical side. Okay. So it is going to go undeviated and you obtain an image over here. I don't think I'll be able to draw a candle like that, but I'm trying. And this is your image. Okay. This is what you get as the image. So this is your image. All right. And since it is denoted by a b i can just take it as a dash and b dash this is the focal length from the optical center we need to get this distance and this will be your image distance this is your object distance this is f and we need a relation between u v and f and this relation will be called as the lens formula so let's start with the derivation I hope you understood with the basic diagram what is going on the rays of light will be coming and then you're getting an image and we need to get a relation for this object distance, image distance, and focal length. Now comes the important steps. First of all, you need to consider certain triangles. First is this triangle, this one. And second is this triangle, this one. Now you see, if you talk about this angle, these two angles are vertically opposite angles, correct? These two angles are vertically opposite angles, right? So they will be equal. So I'm talking about which all triangle? I'm talking about triangle A, B, O and A dash, B dash, O dash. A dash, B dash, O. Sorry, not O dash. A dash, B dash. So if you look at this, this is 90. This is also 90, correct? So if in two triangles, two angles are same, third angle has to be same. So by A, A, A similarity, the two triangles are similar, which means the ratio of their corresponding sides are going to be equal. So if I apply that, can I write in this triangle and in this triangle, if I apply the concept of similarity, I can write A dash B dash divided by AB is equal to OB dash divided by OB, right? See, A dash B dash, this height, divided by this. So A dash B dash divided by AB is equal to, or this by this, is equal to this by this. Correct? No problem. Let's write it as equation number one. Let's write this as equation number one. Again, let me tell you clearly what is going on. So you have drawn the ray diagram. You are considering these two triangles. 
Of course, this angle is theta, then this angle will also be theta, vertically opposite angles. This is 90, this is also 90, correct? So you have got triangle ABO and A dash B dash O similar, from which you obtain this expression. Okay, one thing done. Next, look at this triangle. Look at this triangle. This one and this one, this small one. Again, what we can say? This angle and this angle, they are vertically opposite to each other, right? Now, this height, that is OC, will be exactly equal to H, correct? I am just taking this object and I am just putting it, right? Because this, these two are parallel lines, right? So, this line is parallel to the principal axis. If this is parallel to the principal axis, and obviously, since this is perpendicular, this is also perpendicular, the distance between two parallel lines must be same, correct? So, this height should also be equal to H. Okay. Again, what we can say that these two triangles are similar. And again, we will write the expressions of their corresponding sides. So, what we are doing now? Now, we are shifting our focus on the second set of triangles. And we say that these two are also similar. And if this is H, this is also equal to H. And then we are saying that, well, we have got triangle A dash, B dash, F and O, C, F are similar. Okay. Now, if that is the case, then I can write A dash, B dash divided by O, C. A dash, B dash divided by O, C. And O, C is nothing but equal to A, B. Right. O, C is nothing but equal to A, B. Right. What we can get is equal to F, F B dash divided by O, F is equal to F B dash, this divided by, no problem. This gives our equation number two. All right. Now, let us analyze these two equations. Let us see what we have got. You see, on the left hand side of both of these equations, we have got same thing, right? So, can I write O B dash by O B is equal to F B dash by O F. Can I write? Just look at equation number one and two. Can I write this? All right. Okay. Now, what is F B dash? F B dash is this distance, isn't it? F B dash is this distance. Can I say, now, now this is something which is very, very important. Can I say that this distance or this length is equal to this length minus this length? What is this length? This length is nothing but O B dash. And this length is nothing but O F. Can I say that? Yes. Observe it clearly. Okay. So, what we have got? I can write O B dash by O B is equal to F B dash can be written as F B dash can be written as O B dash minus O F. O B dash minus O F. O B dash minus divided by O F. Are you all following it up to here, right? Okay. Now comes very, very important thing. Substituting the values with sign convention. Okay. So now you should be very careful. Okay. What is O B dash? What is O B dash? Well, O B dash is your image distance, right? OB dash is this distance and that is your image distance. Now, when you are measuring it from the optical center, are you moving along the direction of the incident ray or opposite to the direction of the incident ray? See, anything that we are measuring in this direction should be positive. Anything that we are measuring in this direction should be negative, correct? So, if I am going towards the image from the optical center, I am moving along the positive direction, which means V is what? V is positive. And V is also equal to what? O B dash. So what do we get? V with a plus sign divided by O B. What is O B? You see O B. What is O B? O B is the object distance. Now, is it positive or negative? Here is something that you need to understand that over this point, you need to put it along with the sign. So if you are standing at the optical center, you must move along the negative direction to reach to the object, right? So, U is negative. So, OB, I'll write it as minus U. No problem. 
is equal to OB dash, OB dash, which is again V, again positive, minus OF. OF is what? OF is nothing but the focal length. And that is also positive, right? OF is the focal length. That is also positive. So I'm going to write this as V minus F divided by OF. OF is also F. And that is all with positive sign. So what all things we have got? We have got U, which is negative. We have got V, which is positive. And we have got F, which is also positive. We are almost done, okay? We are almost done. Now, all you have to do is just try cross multiplying and then try to write this, express this in form of 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. So that is what you are going to get finally, okay? So all these steps, you must understand that which triangles we are taking, how we have proved that these are similar triangles, right? And how we have proved about the formula. Then what we talked about the sign convention, how did we get and how did we substitute the value of OB dash, OB, OF, all this, okay? So if you just simplify this, if you just simplify this, you obtain an expression which is called as the thin lens formula and that goes like this, 1 by F is equal to 1 by V minus 1 by U. And this formula is called as the thin lens formula. 